Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another World War II 172 scale video. Today we're going to take an inside look of the box. The Monte Cassino Abbey 1944 by Italeri. Got a big building and they give you soldiers and they give you a couple of tanks, instructions, lots of neat stuff to look at the box. We'll look at the box a little bit later on the back. There's a neat sh more showing how they could set up a nice diorama and uh, or use it for a war game board. You can build this like that and then it can lift off to look like it's wrecked. And then they give you a easy build Sherman. Some Polish infantry which is basically is similar to the British, and then they give the German paramour trooper so soldiers or Fallschirmjäger, and then they give you a Sturmgeschütz model, give you decals, give you all of this here. We'll look at that briefly, and then that's the instructions pages for this. You can buy this Sarissa Precision separately. This was made special for Italeri. Here's the we'll look at the instructions and the little background that's in here. And then the, the men. And that, let's start over here looking at some of these. German, you see their helmets, the short type helmet there. Special ammo pouches. For the casting, they have all these little pieces on there. That's one thing I don't like about it, Larry having to tip that out. But otherwise, you can see it's very detailed. Hand grenade and Schmeiser. He's got this equipment. It looks like he's got a binocular. He's got a mortar. Put parts together for the mortar. Panzerfaust, although uh, for the, I don't know how many they had at that time period there, but the 44 they, they could have. And now let's take a look at this one. Looking through the binoculars. So pretty much a duplicate of the other one. There's the back there. This little pack that goes in that hole right there. So, not a big choice. I rather if they gave uh, uh, different poses instead of duplicates, but that's what they gave you. Let's take a look here. Nice, uh, that's probably a Vickers machine gun, and look at all the shells, that's nice. And then probably gonna have rifles, and then a Bren gun. Lots of machine guns. Turn that that way, you got your basic rifleman. And some, um, machine gun looks like they're giving them some, uh, that doesn't look like the stand. That looks like the American Tommy gun, Thompson. A little close action here. There's the Piot and the Chows. Maybe a couple of wounded. That was somebody's helping, wounded. Radio man. <clears throat> I'm running short on... Uh, while I'm filming this, so I might have to cut it short and perhaps do a, a second part video. We can see how how we go along here. Let's take a look here. <clears throat> With all this to build and paint, it's nice to have the easy build Sherman. There's the gun. Got a little recess there, so have that. And this part came off for the gun. 
Nice clean molding on here. Turn this over. Side skirts. Nice little wave here. After having to do so much work on so many other ones, it's nice to have a simpler one. Got a choice to turn it into a, the 105 stew or the 75 millimeter stug. And there's the machine gun for it. Let's look at the they give you there for uh, the Mark III Sherman and the shoots markings. <coughs> Take a look here, and then we'll look at the box, and then we'll see how far we can get with the other. So they got uh, painting guides. We'll open this up. <coughs> of uh, camouflage if you want painting on that and then there's a Polish infantry like I said pretty much uh, the British outfits and gear and that's the Sherman we looked at not too much to do there of course they sell these separately I think I had that kit separate it's always a neat symbol looks like a scorpion idea of the camouflage paint. It's kind of neat to have camouflage for the allies instead of just plain green. There we go. The guns going through there. Choice of guns. And a different idea. This just in sand. Sometimes it's nice to have sand instead of the two or three color camouflage. Looks like... <coughs> There's the information. So it took a long time to get to that. And in the meantime, the Allies bombed it. And then it made it harder to get the Germans out. Then eventually they pulled out. Walls and roof. Idea on how to paint. There's a lot to do on that. So I've made these wooden... Uh, <coughs> buildings before of other types and a lot of work here's an idea of what it would look like if you wanted to set it up with like that and then they tell you give you ideas how to make brickwork and stuff and what to use sheet of ulith i'm not familiar with that but it looks like more like a foam board or something made out of soft plastic that you can just score and then how to use, once you punch those out, you could use some of the little pieces and paint them up. Do boxes. I mean, I don't know how you're supposed to paint something that small. I mean, that's about in scale is in this picture of that. And the idea of how you can do the accessories. Let's take a look at the box. The side there. All how to build it. This is the way it came to me. It was the damage that got it shipped over from Europe. And believe it or not, having it shipped over, it was supposed to be all brand new. Everything was here, but it got damaged. It was cheaper than getting it from a, an American uh, dealer. There's nice pictures there showing some of their other sets and kits. back there showing it giving you ideas what to do I've got a couple of other of these too the Stalingrad and I don't think I got the Reichstag yet I mean, these things are big to build and I run out of room to store stuff so <clears throat> we'll see how I get to that Basically, parts and ideas, how you put it all together, you get the idea, you're going to go through all of that, popping all of that out, go forth, and then see if I can look through some of these quickly before I run out of time, so you can see the size of the, the man, the scale of it, so it's going to be Pretty nice size. Other sides are a little lighter. 
how to put these together. There's some archways. That's the flooring base of part of it. Gives you the idea. It's not that big in this scale, but big enough when it all gets together. And then if you're gonna build a terrain piece for it that it's attached to, I might build the terrain piece and then have that where this can come off of it so I can store it separately. And there are parts. You can see how it breaks there. You can have the solid or you can lift it off like they show. Here's another piece here of a base. More with lots of windows. And then the other part, besides having this you can smell you can smell that wood then they have this it's more like very thin thin cardboard pieces can't even pick these up you can see to do the roof and stuff to pop all that out so that's a lot of work a couple more pieces like that came in uh, just a flimsy piece like that with the instructions all righty until next time, more reviews for 172 scale World War II and models built up and terrain and so forth. And if I get working on this, I'll do uh, further updates on this throughout the year. Thanks for watching, everyone.